welcome back to Trip Talk Tech. Matt, we got a real quick one for you today. It is Cyber Security Week, so I just wanted to come at you guys just to make sure you understood, number one, what that was, and then uh, really why we even care. Uh, so first of all, Cyber Security Week is really just a, reckon, a, a recognizing of uh, just, again, cyber security, how now is probably more prevalent than ever, especially post-COVID. We'll be doing a lot of remote working from home. Everything is virtual. You're ordering your food virtually. You're doing credit card here, this account there, this is this and this and that. So uh, just wanted to uh, kind of talk on cybersecurity just a little bit and kind of do it from a real people aspect, right? And um, just, again, try to help somebody uh, uh, with whatever you got on, on the website. So. Um, Today, I wanted to talk about passwords um, as a topic for Cybersecurity Week. Now, with passwords, um, I just wanted to go over three suggestions. When you talk about passwords, I know when you say that word, it's like passwords. So who, who, who wants to do that? You, bad enough, you have to have them. Um, but uh, I don't know if you just heard with Coinbase, you know, they just had a breach of passwords and people got their money stolen and they promised to give their money back. But yeah, it's not fun when you're in that situation. Um, so, uh, we're going to go over three things real quick that can hopefully keep you out of that situation. Um, so you don't have to be that, that person, right? So suggestion number one, stop using the same password across all your accounts. As tough as that may sound, I know it's like, again, I got 50 million accounts. I got to pay. I got my cable bill. I got my water bill. I got my mortgage. I got my bank accounts. I got my kids. Great, I got this, I got insurance, I got investment accounts, I got Coinbase, I got PayPal, I got Cash App, I got all Vimo, I got all of these things that have passwords. But you can't keep using that same password for Gmail or Yahoo or whatever across the board because once I get one, I got all of them. If I got all of them, now again, if I go to your Google, your Gmail, I get your Gmail account going through your Gmail, I see what bills you pay. They email you every month, right? Now I can go to those websites. I'll use your Gmail account uh, as the email address or the username. Then the password, probably the same one. And then when I go there, I get to your bank. I know exactly what bills you pay now. So I'll see if you have accounts over there. And doom, do 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 Think about it, PayPal. Now I got access directly to your cash. And by the time you find out, you might already be cleaned out. So definitely, definitely, definitely stop using the same passwords across the board on different accounts. Um, I get it. It's a lot to remember. You got too many accounts to worry about. But that brings us exactly to password tip number two. Use a password manager. Password managers, right? What is it? Password manager. What it does is it keeps all your passwords into the cloud or the cloud and then your local mobile device or if you got a workstation or whatever, keeps it there. So now you don't have to remember each one. Some of these uh, password managers will even keep the site that you're logging into. So when you hit the button to go to say, hey, I just want to log into this, uh, my bank site. It actually saves your password, saves the bank website, and when you click the one button, it does everything for you and goes right into your page. So it actually makes things a little like easier for you if you go that route. Um, but again, that allows you to have your multiple different passwords. Um, again, we can you can add just different ones for your family members. Everybody can see the same ones. Um, if you have older older um, grandparents or, or older parents and you know they have their bank accounts um, obviously they want their level of privacy but maybe you guys got to share because of their age um, you get a password manager you can actually have their passwords in there where they have their privacy of adding and deleting but you also have that same access in to see those same passwords and you can add your own passwords to this if it's a family thing or if you guys all want to share passwords. So definitely cool for that. 
Um, definitely allows you to do different passwords across the board. So it actually helps for the suggestion number one. So password managers. And actually below, I'll drive a couple of them. I'm not endorsing any password managers, but it's a couple that I've worked with that I, I particularly like. Um, a couple I can mention, uh, LastPass, um, they have a free, I think, offering, but they also have a premium offering that's pretty good. Um, KeyPass has a free offering, I think. Um, again, pretty good features in the free. Uh, Bitwarden has uh, open soft software, open source software. Um, again, pretty good software. I've seen people use it um, in business as well. Not a problem at all. And uh, RoboForm, that's one I personally use. Um, again, not endorsing them. I like it. It's got a lot of features. And again, you can share it with family. You can do whatever. Um, I think you can get five accounts right out the gate. So definitely check out a password manager. It makes life easier for you because um, I know how it is. You know, you, you go on vacation, you can't even remember your work password, right? You putting in that ticket. I need to change my password today, right? I just came back from vacation. Get your password manager. I swear to you, it's so much easier. Suggestion number three, instead of passwords, use paraphrases. Yeah, it works. So again, got your password manager now. So it's probably not as bad from a standpoint of, all right, I got to remember all these passwords. Cool, might not have to remember. But if you notice now, there's a lot of these companies, they, they like to remember your last passwords, right? So um, they remember my last eight. So after a while you start running out of passwords to put, right? You got your grandmother's birthday, then you add the year it is now, plus a couple stars or a couple explanation points and it's over, right? But now you're running out of things to do because they say, hey, you use that already or you use the variation already. So what can you do in those scenarios? The best thing I would say do is instead of passwords, we're trying to keep guessing all of these crazy characters and up, down, think of paraphrases, make sentences. Something that relates. So let's say I was paying my Netflix bill. I might want a password, something like this. Right? Netflix and chill. Yeah, 2022. Some kind of characters. I wouldn't do them in that succession, but you get the point, right? So again, instead of a password to keep remembering all this up and down, oh, where did I put the star at? Where did I put the year at? Who did I put their birthday at? All of that stuff. Think of a paraphrase. If it's your, you know, car payment bill, Toyota, if it's a Camry, if it's whatever, try to think of a paraphrase that would make, to make you remember that password or to help you remember that password, should I say. Try that out, see what happens. And again, they all build on each other because you'll have your paraphrases. Um, again, if you get in a jam and you can't get to your password software at the time, or you can't, which is another thing that I missed just real quick and we'll 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 bottle that up on a recap. But let's say if it's MFA involved, multi-factor authentication, I'll talk about that in a little while. If that's involved, maybe you don't have your cell phone or your cell phone's off and you can't get it. So you might want that paraphrase to, oh, I'm paying the electric bill. That is, I don't know, can't stop the boogie. Electric boogie, I don't know, something, right? Well, that's about it. So let's recap. Our three things, don't use the same password. Number one, we can't use the same password across each account. You will get burnt. I've been burnt. Don't do that. Help yourself out change the passwords if you can't remember the passwords that's fine suggestion number two get a password manager look below you're going to see some password i'm going to put a couple uh links on the um, bottom of this one again i'm not endorsing any of them i'm just trying to give you something to start with give you a place to look do your own research I'm sure you'll find something that'll work for you and your family number three Instead of passwords, use passphrases. Actually, I'm going back to number two, password managers. One thing I keep leaving out that's very important that I want to add in my recommendation. If you can, 
get you a password manager that has dual authentication or some type of multi-factor authentication or MFA. And all that is, is when I log in, it'll send me a text, it'll send me a code, it'll send me an email or something to my cell phone or my email address, my private email address that basically says, hey, somebody's trying to log in and see your password. Is it you? So you want that. Recap, point number three in passwords. Instead of passwords, let's use some passphrases. Passphrases will help us remember our password just a little bit more, um, be readily available to mind, just in case, again, if we do use that multi-factor um, password manager and let's say our phone dies or something happens and we just can't get to that password, maybe it'll be a little bit more top of mind because it's something, a phrase or something we remember that's kind of kind to our heart about that specific event or password or account or whatever. Well, that's it, everybody. I just saw I had for today. Just a little bit of help since the cybersecurity week on passwords. Later on this week, we'll do something on phishing. That's how they get your initial password from the beginning. But we're going to try to get you to be able to recognize that and don't allow that from the door. So I appreciate your time. I thank you all for listening. Straight talk, y'all.